makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as the squad. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mama me, I've got a big interesting letter to write you today. So pull up your rock in a chair, call in Uncle Pietro, and I'll let his go to listen to too. <laughs> First of all, inside this letter, I'm sending you a picture that a Pasquale is a took of me. I'm a moved a little when a Pasquale is a snap to the picture, so don't get a scared because I'm a got a three heads. <laughs> that the little box you see in my hands is a cough drops. And don't worry, Mamma me, I'm not the sick. I'm a just to got a little tickle in my throat, and these are cough drops, so they're supposed to get rid of my tickle. So far, I'm a up a six box of cough drops, and the only thing I'm a got rid of is a 35 cents. <laughs> Last night, I was trying another kind of cough drop. And sure enough, that they worked. Was it no more a tickle? Just a cough. <laughs> and what I'm writing about now is how I was wondering what to do about this cough. I was to get up from bed one morning, I put on my radio, and I'm to hear a voice that's making me listen. Are you bothered by a cough? Yes, I'm about it, but how do you know? Have you been trying everything without success? I'm no answer till you tell me how you know. Have you been unable to sleep the last few nights? Mamma mia, he must have a television set. He can see what I'm doing. If you have, then listen to Happy Hal. Well, folks, it's time to close our show. And all I'd like to say is... <laughs> take Happy Hal's advice. All right, I'm going to take it. Run down to your neighborhood drugstore. Tell the man that Happy Hal sent you. Happy Hal has sent to me. Ask him for a bottle of Suvo cough syrup. <laughs> the syrup that soothes. Suvo cough syrup. <laughs> I'm going to feel better just to saying it. <laughs> Remember, with Suvo cough syrup, it's satisfaction guaranteed or... <laughs> Yeah, what am I waiting for? Run out and get it now. All right, I'm going to first to give me a chance to put on my clothes. I'm, I'm here, Mr. Dragist. I'm here. Was something wrong, sir? Are you hurt? No, Happy Hal is telling me to run here. Happy Hal? He, you know, fell on the radio who's never talking without a laughing. He said I should run to you and buy special coffee syrup. Oh, well, what syrup did he recommend? Pseudo coffee syrup. Here's a say, satisfaction a guaranteed, or ha, 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 double your money back. <laughs> How am I like to buy a bottle? Uh, <clears throat> well, soothe cough syrup. I don't think I have it. Uh, don't you think you'd rather try some of the new antihistamine pills, or perhaps some benzoparahaldemodine pills? What do you call it, those pills? Benzoparahaldemodine. No, thanks. It's too much to swallow. <laughs> How am I like what the Happy Hal is advertising? Sudo. Uh, <clears throat> well, I, I've got over fifty cough remedies, and they're all good. If they all are good, the way you need a fifty. Well, uh, you see, some are for before you get a cold, some are for while you have a cold, and some are for after you've had a cold. Tell me, if none of these are work, you got a something for pneumonia? <laughs> well, let's see, um, uh, how about trying our bestseller, Mother Hogan's Cherry Remedy? Mother Hogan is to make a cherry remedy. Yes. What's a Father Hogan to make? <laughs> oh. Nothing. Well, at this time, I don't like it. Father Hogan is to stay home and to do nothing, and Mother Hogan is got to go out to work. Oh, no. <laughs> now, 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 please. Uh, Mother Hogan is just a trade name. Oh, that's uh, her name before she's married. Uh, all I can tell you is it's an excellent remedy. How you know? 
Mother Hogan is a tried it out on her family? Sir, I... Mr. Mother Hogan, has she got it this? Satisfaction guaranteed? Or a ha-ha-ha-W money back? <laughs> well, well, no, oh, but... Sorry, sorry. I'm want to sue the coffee syrup. Just like a happy holly's a me. What's the use? I have a radio for me not going to buy what it's tell me. Well, in that case... Oh, wait a minute. Why, here's a bottle back here behind the cherry remedy right here. Uh-huh. I know that a Mother Hogan is not the nice. She's a try to hide the happy house of pseudo. Well, all right, I take it. Very well, sir. That will be 35 cents. Here you are. Yes. Uh, shall I wrap it up? No, I'm a drink it here. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. You should take one teaspoon before each meal and one teaspoon before you go to bed. What's to happen if I'm eating my meals out? Well, just drop into the nearest restaurant and take a teaspoon. Oh, nothing to do. And I'm going to take a teaspoon next to no belonging to me. Oh, <laughs> I... I meant of the medicine. Oh, well, uh, how am I going to take this uh, pseudo syrup? Plain or with the water? Just drink it plain and remember to shake before using. What? Uh, That's what it says on the bottle, right on the label. Shake well before using. Well, I'm going to start it to the wiggle now. <laughs> By the time I'm going to get a home, I'm going to be all shaken up. <laughs> Me, it's the morning already. Oh, coffee's and all let me sleep. I'm and all let the coffee sleep. Between the two of us, we are up all night. <coughs> I'm gonna take some more soothing. First time, I'm gonna I'm give myself a shake. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an Oster coffee syrup, I'm gonna take it's just a plain of peppermint oil. <coughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. <laughs> hey, you cough sounds worse. Let me hear you say whoop. Whoop. That's what I thought. You got the whoop of the cough. <laughs> what are you doing for it? I'm taking this uh, pseudo coffee syrup. Pseudo coffee syrup? Where you get this uh, junk? I'm a heard the happy hell on the radio. He's a set on down at the drugstore in a buy. Ooh, what a stupid boob. <laughs> Suppose if he says to run to your nearest the Chinese laundry, you'd run too, huh? Eh? Oh, no, Pasquale. I'm glad you got some sense. If I'm going to cough, what could a Chinese laundry do? <laughs> Ooh, what a maroon. <laughs> Pasquale. Pasquale, don't holler at me. To tell the truth... I was a feel kind of proud when I'm around to the drugstore. I was a feel like a real American when I'm about something advertising on the radio. Luigi, that's a talk for the babies. You feel like a real American buying something on the radio. Well, now that it's a donor work, what do you feel like, a Canadian? <laughs> no, Pasquale, I'm a feel just as American. And to prove you how wrong you are, I'm going to get to my money back. Your money back? Sure, on the radio, Happy Hell is to say, satisfaction guaranteed. Or, ha, 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 double your money back. <laughs> Luigi, I'm going to think you when you was a baby, you ha, 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 fell out of your head. <laughs> Luigi, you're lucky you got me to explain to you, otherwise you wouldn't know what ignorance is. <laughs> what you hear on the radio or read on the bottle, that's what they call an advertising a slogan. A slogan? That's right. That's a mean something you say that you don't have to prove. <laughs> now, for instance, out of my menu, it's to say pizza like a mama used to make. You think I'm going to give somebody a boat ride to Italy, show them how my mamas used to make a pizza? <laughs> no, Pasquale, I'm going to prove you you're wrong. I'm going to pay the 35 cents for a pseudo. I'm going to get double my money back. If they promise, they're going to keep it. Look who's telling me about a big business. All right, Luigi, go, go to the company. Get your money back. How am I going to write it now, Pasquale? And take along a suitcase. The company is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hello, Mexico? That's all right. You're dealing with the foreigners. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm alone in my night school. New Mexico is a belong to the Union. Oh, yeah? AFL or CIO? <laughs> I'm talking about the United States. Pasquale, what am I going to do? New Mexico is a thousand of miles away from here. Just like I'm a thought. They forgot a little to catch it. 
They don't supply a hundred dollar car fare so you can get back your money. Luigi, who's the rise? Pasquale, I know you wrong. They keep their promise. Oh, sure, they keep their promise. So why is it you hear every week on the radio, Ah, yo, soul American. <laughs> you know, that's a crazy. Nobody's got enough of money to buy America. <laughs> well, Pasquale, I'm going to. Don't try to stop me. All right, go, go. But first, let me warn you. Sooner your tickle is going to change to a hack and a cough. And that's where the companies are going to get even with you for bothering them. They're going to get you in illegal trouble. Me in illegal trouble? Because I'm a got a hack and a cough? What the law I'm a break? Running around the streets without a hack license. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that has proved helpful and enjoyable to millions of people. Whether you're working or shopping or driving your car, keep a package or two of delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum handy. Whenever your mouth feels dry or your taste needs freshening, chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint and see what a difference it makes. The cooling real mint flavor freshens your taste and sweetens your breath. And the pleasant chewing helps relieve that feeling of dryness in your mouth and throat. Gives you a refreshing little lift. So get a few packages of healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum tomorrow morning. Keep some handy in your purse or pocket so that you can enjoy a stick whenever you want. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia... Just because I'm going to try to get rid of a tickle in my throat, Pasquale says I'm insulting a bigger business. I'm going to go to jail. I'm a Benedict Arnold. I'm going to want it to be the man without a cold. So now I'm going to wind up with a man without a country. <laughs> but I was a laugher, Pasquale. And a little while later, I was in my night school class. <laughs> That's what I chose, don't matter. Everything's going to be 100. All right, class. Quiet, please, please. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Bingo. <laughs> Bingo? I'm sorry. I hollered first. I get the prize. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're supposed to say here. Why do you shout bingo? Because when you call on me, you always hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. <laughs> you know, it's not everywhere I can find an audience for such whimsy. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, today we are taking up some of the more common errors made in grammar. And one of the commonest, perhaps, is the split infinitive. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us what a split infinitive is? With pleasure. What's the question? <laughs> what is a split infinitive? Oh, I don't know. Mr. Basco? I'm a don't know. <laughs> Mr. Schultz? I ain't talking till I see my lawyer. <laughs> hmm. I would be very happy to supply you with the correct answer. Ooh, what a show <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. Thank you, Mr. Olson. I know you know the answer, but I'd like to get it from some of the others. Uh, Mr. Basco, will you try to give us an example? An example? Yes. Two times the 35 is a 70. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Schultz. Kill me. I agree with Luigi. <laughs> Two times 35 is 70. <laughs> Good heavens. Mr. Basco, how could you ever think of two times 35 is 70? I'm going to think of it. Happy Hal is a saint. Happy Hal? Yeah. He's a say satisfaction guaranteed or ha, 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 double your money back. <laughs> You see, Miss Spalding, I'm a bike coffee syrup. Oh, now I see it. Well, Mr. Basco, hold it for later, please. Uh, Mr. Olson, would you please come to the rescue with an example of a split infinitive? It will be a joy. <laughs> a split infinitive. 
Jan wanted to quickly jump over the fence. That's very good. Now, Mr. Horowitz, in this sentence, a Jan... Uh, <laughs> uh, a John wanted to quickly jump over the fence. Uh, what is split? John's pants. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, Mr. Schultz, how would you fix the split infinitive in that sentence? A little needle and thread, maybe? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, Mr. Basco. Well, if for nothing is a help with the pants, Sama would ask her for double my money back. <laughs> oh, really? Mr. Basco, what is this about double your money back? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Miss Spaulding. I'm going to buy some uh, pseudo coffee syrup, but there's uh, no pseudo my coffee. So I was uh, thinking to ask for double my money back, like they say. But uh, now I'm worried. Luigi, you got nothing to worry about. You'll get your money back. <laughs> oh, of course you will. Uh, who made the guarantee? Happy hell on the radio. I'm want to so much to get my money back. And a show, Pasquale, America is a keep its a promise. But, Mr. Basco, it's important not to confuse the issue. America didn't make the promise. It's just one cough medicine manufacturer. But, but if the radio is advertise him, then he must be a good American. Ach, Luigi, if every American believed in his radio like you did, television would have to commit suicide. <laughs> Well, you mean, you mean it's all a fake about doubling my money back? Mr. Schultz, I think you're giving Mr. Basco the wrong impression, and let's not stop him from proving what he wants to. Thank you, Miss Spalding. Oh, sure, Luigi. Go to Happy Hall. Go to the radio. And if that don't work, go to the company. What can they do to you? Can they make you cough your brains out to prove you're wrong? Can they x-ray you till you are looking out from the inside? <laughs> can they put you in jail for false accusations? Schultz, can they? I don't know, Luigi. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> Sir, Happy Hal is finishing his broadcast right now. You can wait outside the broadcast booth. Right over there. Thank you, Mr. Receptionist. So, <laughs> so long, friends of X to OV. <laughs> Remember for recorded ramblings and ah, <laughs> laughs, it's happy hell at the bottom of the dial. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Glad that one's over. Huh. Hello, Mr. Happy Hal. <laughs> You're a very funny fellow. I like the way you always laugh. <laughs> All right. What is it, Jack? Here's a place in Amazon at the Jack is a Luigi. <laughs> Look, Buster, I don't care if it's Pedro Armendariz. What do you want? Uh, ain't you happy, Hal? Sure. Well, why ain't you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Because I gotta be up at six in the morning to read them commercials. Because while I'm doing the laughing hyena bit, everybody's doing the sleep bit. Who are you, mister? I'm a Luigi Basco, fellow who's a listen to your program. You recognize me? <laughs> I knew I had one listener, but this is fantastic. <laughs> Look, smiling Jack, I got eight hours more broadcasting to do. You're talking to the poor man's Arthur Godfrey. Now, what do you want? Well, as long as you ask me right away, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to brought back this bottle of a pseudo coffee syrup. Now, give me my 70 cents. You want I should give you 70 cents? Why? Because you say satisfaction is guaranteed. Or, ha, <laughs> double your money back. Pardon me while I go out of my mind. Look, laughing boy, I don't personally make good on the manufacturer's promises. But you advertise as a coffee syrup. I also advertise hot water bags, but I don't guarantee you'll have hot water. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Look, Sonny Jim, why don't you just take this back to the druggist where you bought it? Oh, no, he's advertising Mother Hogan. Mother Hogan? Please, I'm going to tell everybody I'm going to get a great conference in American business. And they're giving me back my money. Well, well, now listen, sad sack. I've got it. Take it down to the Sudo sales office and let them handle it. 
Sudor sales office, huh? Yeah, they're in the guarantee building at Maple and Grove. Ah, that's a fine, that's a wonderful. The guarantee building. Yeah, now what's so wonderful now? What do you say is the guarantee building? Yes. Well, I'm a thinker, how wonderful is it? In America, even a building has got a guarantee. <laughs> One moment, please. Sudo Cop. Mr. Prentice, I'm sorry he can't be disturbed. He's in a very important board meeting. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones, but this meeting is very important. We expect Mr. Gooch up from New, New Mexico, and they're all there. Sudo Cop. Please, Miss Gooch. I'm not Miss Gooch. I wish I were. Mr. Gooch only owns the company. Now, be patient. But I'm going to speak to somebody from the Gooch office. I, I, I mean, a Sudo. I'm sitting here two hours with a little bottle. People look at me like I'm a crazy. <laughs> in your pocket. I can't. I'm left at the top home. <laughs> well, why don't you drink it? What the fuck? It's made my cough worse than... Oh, the... all right, all right. Hello, Mr. Trim. Could you see someone right now? I'm busy. Switch him to Johnson. Well, Mr. Johnson's home sick, sir. He's got a bad cold. All the others are in the board meeting. All right. Send him in. Well, All right, you go right in there. That's Mr. Trim's office. He'll take care of you. Thank you very much, Mr. Telephone. Maybe Pasquale is right. Maybe I'm sure to go back right now. No. Most important thing is the people who should keep their promise, even if it's a man or a company. I believe you're looking for me. What can I do for you? Please. I'm going to like to make trouble. But here's the back of you, bottle. Give me double the money back. What? I'm going to give a drug. It's 35 cents. I'm going to remember like I'm standing here. Was a quarter, a nickel, and a five pennies. Why, I... <laughs> this is a practical joke, isn't it? I don't care what you call it as long as I'm going to get to my money. Here's your bottle. Now, just a minute. I don't want that messy bottle. You keep it. Oh, no, it's yours. You keep it. And I'm going to demand my rights like you say. Satisfaction guaranteed or a <laughs> double your money back. Oh, just a minute. Hello, Miss Flam. Don't I have enough things to do without you adding to my misery? I've got nothing to do with refunds. I don't care if there's no such department. Make one. Well, get Mr. Hollow. All right, switch me to him. Mr. Hollow, there's a man here who wants <laughs> double his money back. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at anything, sir. I'm sorry. That's right. Money back. No, he won't. He won't. No, he won't. Give me my money and I will. <laughs> what? Send him up to the board meeting? All right, sir. Do you realize who that was? Ralph Hollow, the vice president. And he said to send you up to the board meeting. Oh, good, I'm going to go. For your information, Sudo Cough Syrup is a giant corporation. We have assets of over $5 million. We have a branch in 10 major cities of the United States, and our guarantee is backed up by Lloyd's of London. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, but I'm not going to see this fellow Lloyd's in London just to get back and make 70 cents. <laughs> well, gentlemen, this is a milestone in the history of Sudo Cough Syrup. Our first request for money back. Double the money back. Yes, yes. Oh, look, gentlemen, you got important business, and I'm going to want to bother you, but there's something I'm going to find out. When American business make a promise, they keep it? Of course, of course. And nevertheless, now, look at our side of it. How do you know Sue, though, hasn't helped you? <coughs> That's what I'm had all night. Well, now, uh, are you allergic? No, I'm Italian. <laughs> But I'm a got to my first peppers, and I'm a hope to be American citizen very soon. I meant, Mr. Vasco, your cough may be due to some functional ailment, or you may be suffering from some hereditary malfunction that's not amenable to ordinary medication. Uh, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Sure, you ain't the guy of my 70 cents. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, we have it. Then why don't I get it? Because you haven't unqualifiedly proven the merits of your case, nor the lack of merit in ours. Goodness knows more modern methods fail in certain circumstances. Now, take penicillin. I can't. I'm going to spend all of my money on your syrup. <laughs> Let me finish. Penicillin is not effective in every case. Nor does sulfur or streptomycin help every person. But does that mean that scientists all over the world should rely on the word of any one man as to the efficacy of any of them? Oh, no. 
Well, I'm glad you finally understand, Mr. Basco. Now, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you out. I'm going to just do one question. Yes? Who's I got in my 70 cents? <laughs> I, I just explained. Please, I'm, I'm a willing, and instead of a double of my money back, I should have got the single of my money back. 35 cents. Uh, but... All right. Uh, I'm a lost the cap on a bottle. Make it a 25 cents. <laughs> Now, Hollow, uh, Hollow, let's settle this before Mr. Gooch gets here. Yes, but... Give me, give me my car fare, 20 cents. <laughs> I just noticed there are seven of us here. Let's throw a dime apiece on the table. That'll make 70 cents. That's a good idea. Here's my dime. And mine. Excuse me, gentlemen. If you don't mind, I'm like a check for the money. <laughs> a check? Yes. I'm a want my countryman Pasquale should see proof how the American businessman is a payback of the money. Just like he's a promise. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm sorry I was delayed. How do you do, Mr. Gooch? Hello, Mr. Gooch. Eh, uh, uh, now, uh, well, just go on. I'll catch up. Uh, yes, uh, you, sir. I'm a Luigi Basco. Uh, uh, Mr. Gooch, uh, Mr. Basco bought a bottle of pseudo and wants us to make good on our guarantee. Well, but... that's certainly no matter for the board of directors. But Mr. Basco, sorry pseudo didn't help you, but if you'll go down to the accounting department, they'll give you a check for the full amount plus tax. A check? Oh, it's so wonderful. You mean there's going to be no trouble? Trouble? About what? Well, you see, Mr. Gooch, uh, we were thinking of pseudo's 34-year record of... Never record, having... my eye. Pseudo's sales is what we're worried about. And pleasing Mr. Basco is all I'm interested in. Mr. Basco, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for helping me out. And please accept this as a token of gratitude. Oh, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, gentlemen, goodbye. Well, I'm, I'm a finally was able to prove I was right. I'm going to get to my check for the money. Hey, what's this a slipper, Mr. Gooch, is it give me? This is certificate entitles a bearer to six months of supply of a pseudo coffee syrup. My money are back to the coffee again. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, everything is a turn out to fine. I returned to the pseudo coffee syrup and I'm a got the, ha, 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 my money back. <laughs> also, I'm a learn one very important thing about America and the business. I'm a met to some very big men, like Ralph Hallow, vice president, and a Mr. Gucci, president. But I'm a learn that the biggest man of all is a Luigi Vasco customer. You'll have a son, Luigi Vasco, a little immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that you can make your daily work seem easier and pleasanter by chewing a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint now and then. Sinking your teeth into a smooth piece of gum helps relieve that feeling of pent-up tension. Sort of relaxes you without slowing you down. As a result, you feel better and work better. So for refreshing taste and good, pleasant chewing, treat yourself daily to healthful, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Get some tomorrow morning. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is produced and directed by Cy Howard and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Dermott. <laughs> Jay Carroll Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conry as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Baldwin, Joe Forte as Harold. Friends, the Wrigley Company invite you to listen to their other program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday night over most of these stations. This is CBS for Columbia Broadcasting System.